Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of basketball, and that is the Lakers are hiring J.J. Redick to a four-year deal. Now, LeBron James, I mean, Genie Buss hired J.J. Redick with no coaching experience. This man has zero coaching experience. Now, he did have a long career in the NBA, 15 years, and, you know, he claims he's a basketball savant. And, you know, him and LeBron started his podcast, which is really an interview. Everybody, everybody can see the writing on the wall. And, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this, man. I'm honestly, bro, for real, because I have never in my 37 years on this planet seen one player that has so much power. Now, don't get me wrong. Michael Jordan had David Falk. But the fact that this man threw a fit, got this man fired, and basically had an interview the whole time. LeBron and J.J. Redick was cooking up this scheme to him to be the next head coach. And now you got coaches out there like Sam Cassell, Mark Jackson, and many other coaches that can't get a job. Won't, won't nowhere get a head job, but this guy comes out of nowhere, gets a podcast with LeBron, and now he got a four-year deal with the Lakers. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, even when they tried to hire Coach Hurley, I think that that was a smokescreen. I think they knew that he wasn't going to take that job, and that would be an excuse to say, well, we tried to offer uh, Hurley the job, but he didn't want it, so we gave it to J.J. Reddick. And I agree with Too Raw. Don't, don't be surprised if they start making excuses already for this guy. Darvin Ham couldn't lose two games in a row without them calling for his job. Well, with J.J. Reddy, you're going to see the media say, oh, well, it's his first year. It's his first time coaching. We got to give him some time. It might take him three to four years for him to get the players that he wants. But when it comes to Darvin Ham and other coaches, they gone. Now, LeBron and J.J., they act all buddy-buddy. But let's see. Let's see if LeBron is really going to be buddy-buddy with J.J. Is he going to is he gonna throw another fit when J.J. Reddick don't challenge a call? Is he not going to stick up for J.J. Reddick? And also, and don't, and don't get this twisted. It's going to be it's going to be a circus down here in L.A. My homeboy Meech, Meech from the Midwest, please subscribe to his channel. Don't be surprised when the Lakers draft Bronny and they mess around and have Bronny getting serious rotation. It's just but this is basketball. Basketball, honestly, is like boxing now. It's more entertainment than it is the actual sport. And that's fine. If they want to go with that, I have no problem with that. But my thing is, don't try to sit here and sell us this these wolf this bs talking about oh well you know he's fit for the job no lebron basically told y'all if y'all don't draft if y'all don't hire him i'm out and genie bus gave in gave in and i honestly i wonder what, what, what would dr bus think if he was here it's that bad where one superstar one superstar can every every two three years he can get a coach fired and i seen gilbert reason them say lebron never had a real coach i disagree with that not only do I disagree with that, but this man has had the most coaches fired. Like, come on. And then you got people still making excuses for him. At some point, when you have all these different coaches fired and all these different coaching changes, it's you, man. And I'm a LeBron fan, but enough is enough. And I'm going to be honest. It's time for him to retire, bro. It ain't that many more millennials left. I mean, you had a hell of a career. Again, we was in high school at the same time. I knew you was you was one of one back then. But it, it's this time, man, because you are literally holding teams hostage. And people are okay with that because it gets the clicks. But nobody's surprised by this. Everybody saw this coming. They should have just gave the man a head coaching job while Darvin Ham was, was still on. You should have made him assistant and said, look, at the end of the year, Darvin Ham fired J.J. Reddick the coach. But this is what happens, man. This is what happens. That is a complete circus down there in Los Angeles. And I feel really sorry for the, the real diehard Laker fans. Honestly, honestly. I know y'all can't wait for the day that this man retire. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.